lot of it is just with aging, you know, comorbidities get on board. So, I mean, it's not specifically pain medications, you know, it's their blood pressure, their lipid cholesterol management, you know, diabetes. Um, and then with any chronic conditions, you get a lot of them, depression, anxiety. And so once you start adding all of those comorbidities on and also multiple practitioners. So, you know, in our system, if the patient stays within our practice, our hospitals and our clinics, we can see everything. So I can see hospital admissions, I can see what other practitioners are putting them on, what medications that they're on, but if they go outside the system, I can't always see, you know, everything that the patient's been prescribed or has been recommended for the patient. So a lot of it, and women tend to seek out treatment more than what men do. You know, men delay, delay, delay. So <laughs> women just seem to seek out treatment more. And, you know, and sometimes it's just maybe when they come in, I mean, I try to verify their medications when they come in line by line with them. And, you know, and it's not just prescribed medications. It can be supplements. It can be vitamins, things like that, too, that the patient can be taking.